Hi everybody, this is Brian. Today I'm going to show you how to create a really simple CHM file for use within SubAssembly Composer. Uh, I found that PDF files don't work well with SubAssembly Composers, but CHM files work really well. What's a CHM file? Uh, basically it's a compiled help file. It's a compiled HTML file. That's really all it is. So the first thing you need is you need this tool. You need HTML Help Workshop. It's a free download from Microsoft. Just go to Google, search HTML Help Workshop. You'll be able to find it right away. The second thing you need is you need a help file. So here I've just composed it in Microsoft Word. I've got my in the information I want. So here is all the information for my subassembly. And basically all I need to do now is I need to save this as an HTM file. So I'm going to choose File, Save As. And I'm going to go throw this in the folder where I'm going to be creating the help file. Now, the, this HTML file that I'm creating needs to be in the same location that I'm going to have the project for my help file to be in. So I'm going to save it in the CHM help creation location. And I'm going to save it as a web page. Now, I don't know what the difference is between web page and web page filter, but the web page filters seem to work for me, so I'm going to use that for this demo as well. So I'll go ahead and save this. gives me a nice little nasty gram. I'm going to say yes. And now I have my HTML file. So if I go ahead and close out of Word now, and I'll go open that HTML file. This will open up an Internet Explorer or whatever your default is. And there it is. It's just an HTM file. So the next thing I want to do is I now want to create, I've got the content, now I want to create the CHM. So I'm going to go create a new project. So just click on the little new icon here. I'm going to create a new project. Walk your way through the wizard. Where do you want to save it? Make sure you're saving these files in the same location that you saved your content. So this is, happens to be the same location. So in this, my case, it's C, CHM Help Creation. And I'll give it the name Subassembly Help File. I'll hit Next. The next thing it's going to ask me for, do you already have stuff that you want to include in this CHM file? In my case, I do. I have an HTML file. So I'll toggle that on. It's then going to ask me to add in those HTML files. So I'll choose Add. I'll grab that HTML file, so make sure you're in that right location. And this just streamlines the process. You can always add these in later if you needed to. You can actually use this uh, HTML Help Workshop to create your HTML files if you want to. I'll just continue through the wizard until I'm done. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go to the Contents tab. So I've got the Project tab. I can change things about the project options and things like that. But under the Contents tab, this is where I'm going to add in the content. I don't have a table of contents file, so I'm going to go ahead and have it create one. I'm going to place it in that same location. I'm just going to use the default name of Table of Contents. And now I have a content file. Now I'm going to add some content to the content file. And the way I do that is by clicking on the insert a page button. So I want to add a new page. And basically your page is going to be all those links that you see along the left hand side of a typical help file. So I'll click on this icon here. Uh, it's going to ask me for a title, so I'll call this one the uh, sub assembly details. And then what information do I want in this page? Well, I, I want that HTML file that I just saved out. So I'll choose add. And then it's going to show me all my HTML files that are already a part of this project. This is why I added it in earlier. It makes this process a whole lot easier. And then I'll simply hit OK. And now I have my first thing. If I wanted to add additional ones, I definitely could. Um, if you want to create an index for your help file, just come over here to the Index tab and create a new index file. I don't know if this is necessary or not. I just have always done it, and it seems to work well. So I'm going to continue with that. Come over here to the project files, and now that I've got my content, I can simply save files and compile. And this is going to create the CHM file for me. Now that I've done that, you can see I have my CHM file here. So if I double click on this, it's going to open up, and here it is. If it, here's the subassembly details. If I had more pages, I'd see them listed down here. There's my index, and here's the content for the help file. All right. So I, I hope this made sense. Um, if you have any questions, there's lots of tutorials online. This is where I learned it. But uh, I'm now going to be able to take the CHM file, put it into my subassembly and subassembly composer, and publish it out to Civil 3D. 
Thanks for watching.